was Constantinople, now it's Istanbul, now Constantinople, been a long time gone, Constantinople, now it turns to light on a moonlit night. I'm here in Istanbul, Turkey. Came here for like five days of R&R. &R. It's been crazy the last few months for me. So I came here to just chill down, enjoy some of the European beautiful, amazing architecture. The Turkish bathhouse hammams. So you can just soak for hours and relax and get a massage or a scrub down. Here's a little juice and veggie and fruit place I found where they got all the fruit sitting out here on the street. They got tons of fruit and veggies in the back there. Check out the size of these cabbages. I mean, those are the biggest cabbages I've ever seen in my life. Some fresh pomegranate juice, that's what I'm going to have. <laughs> I just love the European countries in terms of their the way that they've got the cities laid out where everybody walks. You notice that there's no cars. Everybody's walking and everybody is active and outside and right here out on the street is fresh fruits and vegetables just sitting out on the street for people just to grab and have for accessibility. I think it's amazing. Our society back home is so centered around the car and everybody being in the car and people not moving and people not using their bodies. I think this is amazing. Like it's winter time, same temperature as it is in Toronto or New York or Chicago right now and people are outside, people are moving, people are using their bodies. I'm here at the Grand Bazaar. 550 year old shopping bazaar. So this is my new favorite smoothie and juice place here in Istanbul. I love the fact that when you order smoothies here, it's so different than when you're back in America, Canada. In American Canada, when you order a smoothie, they put tons of yogurt and milk and sorbet and sugar and just a bunch of crap and ice and when you order one here or in many other parts of the world like Central America, the Caribbean, India, Thailand, Asia, what you get is 100% fruit. When I travel to countries where I don't speak the language and they don't speak English, I write out the ingredients for a very simple salad like this. No lettuce, no dressing, no fish, no meat, no salt, no oil, no cheese and I get them to translate it into the language and then I hand that to the chef. And this is usually what comes out at the other end. A nice looking beautiful salad. And the reason why I get no lettuce is because if you order it with lettuce, you'll get 90% lettuce. And this way you get a ton of vegetables and you can actually fill yourself up. Constantinople, now it's Istanbul, now Constantinople, been a long time gone. Constantinople, now it turns to light on a moonlit night. Every gal in Constantinople lives in Istanbul, now Constantinople.